Hey guys, it's me, Widgie. Wow, I just slapped my leg really hard. And today we are back again with part three of the Disney Princess Challenge. All right, so it's been a while since the last time we played, but I'm pretty sure our mission now is pretty much marriage and, uh, and babies. So let's see if we can make that happen. <laughs> Yay! What is going on here? We're back at the cottage. Okay, so the, here's this is the hardest part of playing The Sims, and it's basically trying to figure out where the heck you left off. But I'm pretty sure I did not leave off at 2 p.m. with them wandering the house. So uh, I, uh, I'm a little confused there, but this is fine. <laughs> this is okay. They wasted their Saturday, but it's okay, because I'm pretty sure the night before was their engagement. Are they even engaged? <laughs> I think they're engaged. So they had a long, crazy Friday evening. Why are you going back to bed? Don't do that. You need to go get some food. Eh, hey, gross. Yeah, cl clean out the spoiled food and then get yourself some leftovers. Like a good lad. Gosh, she's so pretty. I just can't get over- Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so they are engaged. Does he not have that? Oh, he does. I'm just oblivious. I'm not paying any attention to their moodlets, apparently. Here we are doing our morning ritual of walking through each other and eating gross food and just standing in the kitchen instead of using your dining room table because it is way too far away and therefore incredibly inconvenient, which, like, I get it. Look at them telling gross jokes to each other, probably about their dumpster diving from the previous evening. So cute. What do we need them to do today? We need them to get married. Okay, so she has a job now. She needs to write jokes or practice music. And then he needs to fill out reports and reach level two charisma. So maybe we need to go to the library or something again so he can write his reports because we definitely can't afford to buy a computer. And since neither of them go back to work until Monday, I'm kind of like, can we even afford to get married? Should they elope? She needs to start pumping out babies. Although... They don't necessarily have to get married to start having babies. If they can't afford a wedding, can they really afford babies? Probably not. Oh God, I'm gonna be such a bad parent if I make her get pregnant right away. She's got time, right? How long does she have? 14 days until she's an adult. She's got time to pump out seven babies. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna give them a little bit more time. Stop lighting. You know what actually would give us some money probably? Getting rid of that freaking fire hazard. Actually, yeah, that gave us a bit of money. So, I, I really want her to learn how to use a piano instead of a guitar, but the guitar's more mobile. Okay, so now they have pretty much the same amount of money as they had before they sold the fireplace. So I, I, I consider that a win. What are you doing though? Actually, yeah, you can pee, and then why don't you, I think psych yourself up because I think being, um. Oh wait, no, that's confident. We need you to be inspired, I think, in order to practice your speech and be better at it. But whatever, that's fine. Just just practice speech for now. I do want you to practice the guitar, but first I really need you to clean that shower because that's nasty, and then go practice your guitar. Skill building. Acquired the guitar skill, and she's a music lover, so she's gonna just be happy playing the guitar by nature of who she is. Oh, that makes me happy. Double whammy. I gave her these traits. How do I not remember them? <laughs> okay, he is almost actually charisma too. That goes up pretty fast at the very beginning. Well done, Wesley. You know, while she's practicing his, her guitar, I, I could just send him to the lot and have him fill out his reports. This is gonna be like a boring Saturday for them, but you know, sometimes Saturdays are boring. I say that as if we're not all locked down in a pandemic and all of our Saturdays aren't boring. Okay, back to using a pooter. Oh my god, it's 8.20. Where did the day go? It's almost like they slept it away. The way the computer things are organized does not make sense to me. Like, why is it on your web that you're filling out reports? Like, wouldn't your reports be under the career section or writing maybe? But under web, I don't know. It just confuses me. Oh, yes. She's leveling up too on her little lonesome. Well done. He wants to read something while focused. Do you think we could just, while we're here, have him read? Do they have like a charisma book? Mmm. Focus up, buttercup. You're at the library. These curtains moving in an invisible breeze is really creeping me out. What's back there? All right, he finished reading good enough for me. Nobody showed up to the library this time. <laughs> no one's at a library on a Saturday night at 9 p.m.? Weird. Okay, we are home and we are hungry. Wifey poo is done. She's not wifey poo yet. Oh, f Why don't you actually go serve some 
garden salad because his cooking skill is going to be rubbish. Take a shower. She'll make some din-din. Okay, this salad is much more green than the last one. Is that, is that a good sign? Uh, he says no. Slash, he's super impatient, I guess, for his food. No, you can't have, like, pancakes right now. Oh, okay, so it's like a mixture of green and... Or is that just, like, cheese on the top? This still doesn't look like a good salad. I don't want to eat that. Oh, she actually went to the dining room table this time. Cute. Well done. Oh my god, it's 4 a.m. The time is flying today. Your guys' sleep schedules are going to be so messed up. So why don't you just go to bed right now, actually, when you're done peeing? Their sleep schedule's basically like what mine is right now. All right, having him use the, the, the potty as well once she's done there. And then him, he'll go to bed as well. Even though it's 4 a.m. Oh, I guess he doesn't want to use the bathroom. That's... Fine. <laughs> and it's summer, and I'm pretty sure they do not have a thermostat. I should have saved their money. Oh god, he's gonna pee the bed. Actually, that's good, because he just woke up at nine. Because he was so desperate to empty that bladder. She should probably wake up. Go ahead and wake up as well. Honestly, there's not much that we can do until we can get them married and have babies beyond build up their, their careers. And they're already set to go, so like, I guess they can kind of just do whatever they want today, and that's fine. It'll just be kind of a boring day again. A lazy Sunday for the pair. But the flea market's in town. That's okay. They don't really have the money to spend on a flea market. Okay, why don't you go over there and play your guitar again? Nox would like to come over. No, Nox. We're over you. Okay, he's just sitting here listening to her. This is cute. All right, I accept this. I still cannot wait for them to have more money because this house just depresses me. Like, this is the saddest empty beige look that I've ever seen. All right, he's hungry. He's gonna go eat. That's fine. Actually, she's getting kind of hungry too. Why don't you go eat too? What a boring family. She's just gonna go in there and chat with him. That's okay, yeah. Build up your social and build up your relationship. I'm totally fine with that. Weird that they chose to do it in the bathroom, but like, it's their own home. They can do whatever they want. Gonna be honest, I'm super excited for the weekend to be over so that they can make money so that we can move this thing on. I should probably buy them a thermostat before it gets to like a heat wave day, huh? It's already hot. They definitely don't. Mm, we can't afford things like heating or air conditioning. Oh, it's only 125. Only 125. Oh. They need to save money, but you know what? It's. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. They're gonna go to their jobs tomorrow. It's gonna be fine. This is why we never- this is why we can't have nice things. Because I give them air conditioning. She'll thank me later. Oh, she's serenading him! Awkwardly, from behind. That's cute though, I guess. Alright, whoop, he dipped. Where'd he go? Oh, nice. <laughs> Where is she going? She wants to go to sleep, because it is 10 p.m., so that's perfect, actually. Why don't you guys, instead of doing that, though, why don't you, like, really quickly just get a quick little happy little woohoo in there, and then you can go to sleep. This woohoo music is going on for a long time. All right, rise and shine, cuties. It is morning. It is Monday. We are going to work today. We are excited. I do want you to eat, but I also really want to make sure you shower before... You go to work so that you're not gross, and then why don't you grab food? And he is grabbing food first. He also needs to shower. We'll just do it in reverse order. He'll shower as soon as she's done. It'll be fine. It'll all work out. I'm so confident. All right, their bills have arrived, and it's 417 simoleons, which is pretty much all of their money. I regret giving them... <laughs> I regret giving, turning their thermostat to cooler, but... Can't go back now. We can, but I won't. All right, you need to go to work. Don't wash the dishes. I'll clean up for you. Go off to work. Work super hard today because I want you to get money. And now we wait. Ta-da-da-da! -da -da. Okay, promoted to the assistant manager. Well done. You got a bonus, an award, an imitate boss interaction. whoop de freaking doo da And she was promoted to open mic seeker. Please tell me you still have the same hours. Her next shift is Tuesday at 5 p.m. I regret her promotion immediately. <laughs> Okay, so she's stressed. She needs fun. He's stressed. He needs fun. I know how we can fix that. It fixes everything, right? See? Easy. We're having a fun time now. Okay, he's hungry. She's not super hungry. Why don't you just go sing in the shower and then why- I'll have you pay the bills before I forget because I pretty much always forget until the power gets shut off. 
No, Nox! Oh my god! He's just... He pops up everywhere, man. He won't leave us alone. All right, so what does he have to do? He needs to now reach logic level two. So let's... I think he has to buy a logic book. I don't think we have one of those yet. I wish there was a search function for books. That would make my life a lot easier, I've got to say. $75? Okay, she's going to pay the bills. Then I'll have her go ahead and get some food. Then I'll have her... She probably needs to practice the guitar. Oh, is she level two? She's actually already there, but she does... Her daily task is to practice, so we'll have her do that. She can also sing songs. Would that improve her guitar and her singing at the same time? Probably not, but that's something to keep in mind for the future. I didn't say you could stop reading. What are you doing? But I'll have him go ahead and read it again. All right, sweet. Okay, I think he's going to bed without my permission, but that's fine. And then I'll have her use the... <laughs> use the, the potty and then go to sleep too. He's, he's probably done. He's read the same book like twice today. Okay, and then honestly, I don't know if it costs all that much money to get married. I think the the main thing it costs it would be hiring like catering and stuff. I'm saying it now, their wedding will be Wednesday evening. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. All right, rise and shine, cuties. You are once again, you and your bladder. If you if you just Oh god, and this is broken. Oh god, and you start working an hour. If you would just listen to me, wouldn't we wouldn't have these problems. I don't think he even flushed. What a na and he was sitting down. Which doesn't have to necessarily mean anything, but it usually does. <laughs> you nasty. See, it's all worth it. The the air conditioning makes him so happy for three hours, so that's good. Rise and shine, gorgeous. We're gonna have you get some leftovers. I'm gonna have you fix that sink because you cannot afford to replace it or hire a repair service. The geek con like little the geek con jingle is probably my favorite one. Uh-oh. Okay, elevator encounter. While riding the elevator, Wesley looks up from his phone and sees the doors open and the CEO of the company walks in. Will Wesley say something to make an impression or keep quiet? Say something! Wesley launches into a story about a funny picture he saw. The CEO gives Wesley a strange look and then busies herself with her phone. Dude, why did you have to bring up a meme out of all things to talk about with your CEO? You're like, hey, want to see this cat, <laughs> this cat photo? This is the problem with having her have so many potential lovers before Wesley is that they, they all, none of them will leave her alone. You got this, girl. Although I question your methods, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know quite what you're doing there, but you, you've you got this. <laughs> Why don't you take like an inspiring shower so that hopefully you stop being in such a bad mood before you practice the guitar. Oh my God, she broke that too. Wesley can fix that when he gets home. It's gonna be fine. We'll just have her plunk for a while. Plunk? Pluck. She's not playing the piano, so she's not plunking. All right, she's off to work. Wesley comes home. I hate when the work schedules for Sims align like this, where I just have one at a time, which is why I was super excited when they each have a nine to five. But now that's not the case, which I guess would be great for her when they have kids because then they won't need a babysitter, but eh. All right, well done. You did it, Dad. So why don't you go ahead and use that? Take a shower, mop up. Actually, we'll have you mop up the floors first. Take a shower. Then you need some fun, my friend. Is read is reading fun? Oh my gosh, everything is breaking. I don't know if reading a logic book would be considered fun, but we're gonna have him do it anyway. <laughs> Actually, I think she's almost off work. She had sh a short shift, so I have a better idea for how they can get their fun up today. <laughs> she's kind of hungry though, so first things first. I'll still have him read then until she's uh, available. <laughs> Oh, he chose to go read with her. I still, I, I love when that happens. Oh, and it is fun for him to read about logic, so that's exciting. Oh, uh, he's super, I mean, he's not super close, but he's, he's pretty close, actually, to... Rude. Oh, you're so close. No, 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 you don't get to go to bed. You are so close to leveling up. Reread it. I don't care if you get grumpy. You are so close. There we go. Thank you. You couldn't have read for two more seconds on your own, my friend? His fun's actually all the way up. They don't even need to woohoo anymore. Wait, 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 wait. He's bugged. He's bugged. His energy is not going up. And they've been sleeping for hours. Or did they just finish woohooing? <laughs> no, his energy. He's bugged. Get up, sir. This is unfortunate. Yeah, I know you're exhausted. She bugged too? No, she was fine. Oh, God. Look at his energy compared to hers because he was bugged out that whole time. That's so crummy. Darn you, Sims. I don't even have CC, man. I think they can eat at work, so I'm just going to have him sleep. Oh. That was a fast hour. Okay, go to go to work. You're only a little bit late. He's basically like me every single day. Go to work, Wesley. 
Well, she'll at least be well rested for their wedding. He's gonna be exhausted. Maybe we can have him take a nap or something. Get some leftovers and take a shower. Okay, and then why don't you pee? And then, actually, you were gonna go temp. You can go take out the trash, that's fine. I like how she had to change into her hot weather outfit just to like step outside. Can you imagine getting your, out of your gym jams just for that? Okay, and then why don't you clean out your own spoiled food? Cause that's gross. I guess plan a social event. Does a wedding, a wedding counts as a social event. Oh, she's not happy about planning this wedding. Ugh. You must be engaged to get married. Aren't they? Yeah, I guess go play the guitar and we'll figure it out. Maybe Wesley can plan it when he gets home and we'll just have to do it like that. Oh, actually I think I don't know if in The Sims 4, I don't know if you can set a time like you can do in The Sims 3 for the event. So maybe that's wise because they're like, he's not around right now and you have to just start the event immediately. That's probably what the problem is. That's probably what the problem is. Oh, gross. Clean that sink. And then she would probably just, yeah, go back and keep practicing your guitar. How's poor Wesley doing? Oh, he's actually doing totally fine. And he's happy for some reason. Just because he's cheerful. What a good guy. What a swell man our Wesley is. He's home and he earned a vacation day. She reached guitar level five. Take a shower. Actually, you don't have time for a nap. You might just have to be exhausted at your wedding. Oh, he's already hungry, but I think they'll have catering. This might be a bad idea. This this wedding, oh, I didn't mean to make you stop showering, but that's fine. This wedding might go terribly. Oh my God, all their stuff gets dirty so fast. And then why don't you go play on your wedding event? <laughs> okay. He cannot be in charge of planning this wedding. They'll invite one person and they have like a, a negative relationship. So we can't have you plan the wedding. I'm sorry. Maybe now that he's home, it won't bug out for her. Plan your wedding event and just bring all of your ex lovers. That'll be better than no one, right? Who do we know? Akira. Look, why do you have so many negative? Oh my God. Nox and Akito. <laughs> Victor was fine and he's married, so maybe he'll bring like his wife. That's fine. We'll just go with that. Oh my god, charming. The first charming. He can be the caterer. Okay, wait, he would do better. I don't know hiring. I don't know if hiring these increases the cost or not. Instructions unclear. Should we make him the mixologist with his cute little hat? Oh god, this is probably a bad idea. So I wanted it to be that cute little place. Yes, it was Mayashino Meadows. Okay, we're gonna go there and we're gonna hope that this doesn't fail completely. <laughs> They're gonna have a great wedding with a lot of wonderful guests that really know and care about them. <laughs> they should have just eloped. It would have been so much cheaper. Oh, she looks so cute in her little dress, but she's really tense because it's thunderstorming. <laughs> oh no, is this a bad sign? Really? Really weather? Really on their wedding day? You know what, that's okay. It's gonna be fine. Oh God. You know, go, just go inside. Everyone go inside so you stop being tense. Step one, get out of the rain. He wants to chat with Victor. We need a mixologist. I'm gonna hire one. It's 100 simoleons. We only have 152. We cannot hire a mixologist. Oh God, where's our caterer? Where are all the people that we hired to do this thing? We're supposed to talk to our guests, but they're all outside. This is, this is already going terribly. Just talk to each other for a while. There we go. We've got people. We've got our mixologist. Okay, he did show up. He looks very different. We're supposed to all have drinks, so let's do that. Oh, and you want to chat with the other guests. That's good, too. Yeah, chat with everybody. Oh my god, it's thunderstorming. We're gonna- this is gonna go so badly. Order a drink and order some water because that's free. Why don't you also order a water? I hope this is an open bar because we're gonna lose money really fast. Why is there a child here? You were not invited. Maybe we shouldn't have had a celebrity as our mixologist. Because <laughs> a lot of people who were not invited to this wedding are showing up. You know, we're going to pretend like it's for us. All this attention for me. Okay, we're saying have drinks, but it's not counting. And I think it's because they ordered water. But that's fine. So why don't you talk to your guests that you don't know, apparently. Oh, that's a fan. That's not your guest. She's your guest. Brightener day. Get to know her. He's talking with... Dante, who I don't think is a guest. I think he's just a, yeah, okay, he's paparazzi. Talk to Knox instead. Talk about his eco lifestyle because we know that that's his whole personality. Uh, that way hopefully we can at least get one of these things ticked off. Is there a caterer here making a cake? I don't think there is. Oh wait, there is a caterer. Nice, well done Vivian. Thank you so much for doing stuff here today. Poor, poor Wesley's already exhausted. Okay, why don't you grab a serving though? You can do that much. Do you think she's gonna bake a cake? 
Okay, they got good. Great. Okay, we're done talking to guests. You did it. You did it for two hours, apparently, on accident. Have the betrothed kiss. We can do that. Oh my god, our caterer is literally dying in the middle. Our caterer just died? Wait, 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 wait. Our caterer just died. And she did not make a cake. Okay, this is a wonderful wedding. Everyone's flocking to the kitchen to witness the death of our caterer. This is a very inauspicious sign. It's thunderstorming and a woman is lying dead. Oh my god. The sobs of the masses will be the symphony to our wedding. Oh my god. They're all terrified and sad and he's about to pass out from exhaustion and they have not gotten married yet. I might just have, okay, go take a nap. Stop crying, stop eating, just stop everything. And homegirl, you're gonna have to bake a cake right now for your own wedding. Go make a cake, ignore the body, step over the body, don't witness the death, it's fine. Just get going on that cake. <laughs> well, death is now a guest at our wedding, so that's exciting. We shouldn't have had an old woman as our caterer because she's not allowed to talk to old women anyway. Oh my God, we're like halfway out of time. So you need to wake up now. Or don't mourn Vivian, you didn't even know her. <laughs> He needs to pee, but I think he can wait because uh, what we're gonna do is, once the wedding topper is on there, we're just gonna have him run out and get married in the rain. It's gonna be a-okay, my friends. <laughs> this is such a bad wedding and we spent a thousand simoleons on this. She's tense, he's tense. Literally nobody is watching or playing the piano. The musician we hired did not show up. But yay, they're married. Or almost. Oh, it's so spooky and haunting. I love this for them. Are the people, oh, people are watching like a handful of them in the rain as she like sobs. I'm pretty sure over the death of, of the elderly woman, not over the celebration of love. Yay. <laughs> okay, so they got married. She wants to watch fireworks. Oh, cute. In any other situation, this would be so much more adorable than what it is. <laughs> he needs to pee, and then they also need to do like their first slice thing before the time runs out. So why don't you run inside? <laughs> this lady's urn is still... <laughs> Vivian, you're really ruining the mood. <laughs> you can go right out there. Oh no, I don't want her to haunt this place forever. She'll just stay in the hallway being a decorative item. I guess we'll just put it at the end here so at least they're not like right where she died. Cut the wedding cake with your darling wife. Oh, did he just do it without her? Are you serious? Oh, they're doing Okay, now they're... She's so hungry. And now he's just gonna eat the cake in front of her as she's like starving. Yeah, go grab an actual food. L Vivian's last meal. The drinks thing still hasn't happened either. I don't think that they're going to have a gold wedding, but really with a death and a thunderstorm. Now it's not thunderstorming. Do we expect anything different? <laughs> Can this wedding end? I almost want to end it early. Ah, well, it's 10 more minutes. That's fine. Let's all just go home, people. What a lovely wedding. There's even an extra centerpiece left over in your Sims inventory. How quaint, because we always want to remember this day. You don't need to make coffee, just go home. It's 4 a.m., what is going on? They don't even have like the energy to get home. I was gonna have them try for a baby tonight. I don't think this is the night for them to be doing that. <laughs> I think they've run the gambit of emotions tonight. I don't think we need to put them through anything else. Okay, before we all pass out from exhaustion, we have a hundred simoleons. I would like to get them a better bed. The sun is literally risen. Oh my God, does he have to go to work today? <laughs> He's got four vacation days. My friend, you need to do that. You need to, hold on, just take a vacation day because <laughs> this is not working out for you and then go to sleep. Does she work today? She does not. She's good to go. Go ahead and just get to bed, girl. Oh my God, what a day. Snuggle in my poor, poor, sweet ducklings who have just had the worst day. Okay, what about that thing that we got, the centerpiece? Do I wanna keep it is the question or do we sell it for what we can get? Oh, actually we have a few things. Wedding pillar with floral basket. This has no place in this home. It is way too fancy. In bloom centerpiece. I mean, 
It's also kind of too fancy, but like it'll be a cute remembrance of their day. This is the sales award. Pretty lame. I'm just gonna sell that as well. And then the card holder, which is also lame, so we're gonna sell that for just a little bit more money. So now we've got 687. So that way we're not at least we're not like completely desperate for cash. Because at this point, we will take what we can get. So today we'll pretty much be spent trying to make them less miserable than what they currently are. Okay, so she's awake. So why don't you go ahead and clean out the spoiled food. And then why don't you go ahead and serve? Let's go with that garden salad, shall we? She's actually not too horrible. It's just poor Wesley that's having such a bad time. How did she have so much fun at that wedding? Snow White, oh, he's coming. <laughs> he's coming. Snow White hates old, uh, old women a lot more than I thought. She is making your salad, so why don't you take a quick shower while that's being finished up. You can grab a serving. Wesley earned, oh my god, it's already like 5 p.m. They slept so late. Their sleep schedule, I mean, it really is just like mine. Okay, how long is your shower gonna last? You're gonna starve to death. Oh my god, everything in this house is like filthy. Okay, go ahead and clean that and then clean the shower and then you can sing in the shower. Which will hopefully get your hygiene and your fun up. He, I know you're miserable. I know you're miserable. Okay, now you can go use the toilet when you're done eating. Sure, just drop that right there. I'll take care of that for you. Don't worry, buddy. Okay, and so he needs fun. So I'm actually going to have them try for a baby. <laughs> I know they're a little bit broke. Actually, not as poor as I thought, though. They're a little poor, but once she's pregnant, they'll still have quite a few days at work to make a little bit more money. So I don't think it's going to be as big of a problem. They won't be rich by any means, but they'll get by. We can make it. We can do this. Let's make a freaking baby. Let's get this thing going, my friends. Did he agree? He agreed. Okay. Baby making time. I'm not going to watch. Don't worry. You guys can do your thing. In the spooky, spooky weather. Okay. It was a good woohoo. She's pleasantly satisfied. She wants to mop, but we don't need you to do that. I need you to take a pregnancy test. It's 15 simoleons though. That's fine. It's worth it for the peace of mind. Snow's not pregnant. Not pregnant. Well, then get back to it. All right, have your privacy. Second time is the charm. No, you don't need to go to bed. I mean, I know it's late, but you do not need to go to bed yet. You need to go take a pregnancy test. All right, girl. Eating for two. Oh, is she telling him the news without me asking? Or was that just something? Oh, 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 oh. I think he already knows. I think she told him without me having to ask. Yeah, he knows. He knows. Big news. Yeah, he's he's heard. Oh, she was so excited to tell him she went and told him by, himself, by, by herself. That's pretty cute. Why don't you just, like, do something cute then? Kiss her cheek. That's, like, sweet. Well, I'm excited. Oh, that's cute. They're so happy. They just got married. They're about to have a baby. What a lovely time for them. He's not tired at all, but it is 1 a.m. And I do want him to be able to wake up at a decent time for work tomorrow. So we're going to have him go to bed. And honestly, I'll have her go to bed too. I don't really have anything I want either of them to be accomplishing for the rest of this morning, evening. And with a very exciting wedding and a pregnancy, I think that's where I'm going to call it for today. Thanks so much for joining me today, you guys. Uh, next time, we will hopefully meet baby numero uno. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.